falls the ladder. How did you fall down? Are you okay? What are you two climbing the ladder? Honey. All right, here with James and Lee talking about Insidious. Where did the idea from Insidious come from? Well, Lee and I are big fans of the haunted house genre, right? The subgenre of haunted house within the horror world. And so the movie still plays like a haunted house movie. It still deal with hauntings and spirituality and stuff like that, right? But you're not quite sure necessarily where the hauntings are coming from. So how do you guys balance those obligatory jump scares mixed in with the actual like scares that you know expect people to poop their pants like I did a little bit? <laughs> Just a little. Well, I mean, the one big rule that Lee and I have in this film is there has to be no fake scares. We hate fake scares. The yardstick for the false scare is the cat jumping out of the closet. Bumping into friends. Yeah, <laughs> you know, walking backwards down a corridor until you bump into somebody, closing a mirror cabinet and there's somebody standing behind you. We love jump scares as long as they're not false. I went into Dalton's room. There was something in there with him. Oh, no! I know someone who can help. Tell me about how you guys sort of found the perfect cast that was, you know, willing to be able to pull something like this off and actually, you know, creep people out. Getting Patrick Wilson, Rose Byrne, and Barbara Hershey, really strong drama actors, elevates this film to a whole different level, I think. Is there anything we can do to bring Dalton back? There's something we could try. You have to believe in the actors to believe in what is happening to the family. I really think Rose and Patrick really helps ground the film in reality and allow you to believe in the predicament and for you to go along on this journey. And when all the bad stuff starts to spiral out of control, you feel for them. I've listened to the dog and pony show. I have seen the drawings. Lee and our friend Angus Samson, who's in it as well, they play these two kind of goofy paranormal investigators that is very much needed because um, the film is pretty tense and without the levity that they bring to it, it would be pretty tough, I think. His physical body is here, but his spiritual body is not. 